Hey everybody, it's been a while, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on the tool that everyone should be using. Um, they just came out with a free version and everybody should be using this content browser. I'm going to show you guys why and one of the main tools that I use it for. So here is Dash, it's polygonflow.io. Definitely jump in there and you know try it out but I'm gonna be going in here to kind of just show you this is a blank project I have created one of the most annoying things is obviously getting assets from the asset store into your project it makes it bloated so if you download an asset it downloads all its levels all its things everything where that's where uh, it gets really annoying and you have to migrate assets from other projects well enter Dash. I'm going to first go over and click the dash button. So definitely install it from the polygonflow.io website. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Now I have the paid version of it because I use this all the time. So we're just going to go ahead and just let it load. It's the first time it loads when it does that. It takes a bit. There we go. And then you're going to get this nice little widget right here. I'm just going to click on the content browser. Don't worry about most of the stuff because you don't have this in your version and we're going to go ahead and click on content browser and here is the content browser so I'm going to go ahead and go pretty much through here the project library here so we're going to go ahead and click on unified view you can also click on fab and of course I have no uh, I mean it's going to look through the fab library see if anything's downloaded there's also quixel old so here are the quixel assets that you can go through and drag into your scene. They have the materials and all that stuff there. And you can do a search for AI. So like for example, and essentially they're tag systems. So if you double click on this, you're gonna see here, here are all the tags that you can search for in that. So if you search here for Nordic, you're gonna get the Nordic assets that I have in there from Fab. Um, yeah, I mean, if you have this, which is a table, for example, and you type in table, it's going to bring that up. So what's nice is, is you can definitely tag things and add tags, but there also is a uh, way for it to automatically do it. So for example, if I go to, well, I'm gonna first show you, they also have the Polyhaven library integrated in here, which is really nice, which is a pure free, library they have a lighting library here if you want to add some cool little lighting effects but let's go ahead and look at the project library so the project obviously will have this but the one neat thing that i like about this is the external project so i'm going to go here and you click here and you go add external project right so you have the three little buttons right here and this is such a huge thing so what you can actually do i'm going to try and articulate this the best way i can is you can have a project and that project can be bloated. That project can have all the assets that you download from Fab, from Quixel, from everything. And then you have your main project and now you can start bringing in assets, but you can do it through Fab. Instead of going to that other project and go, hey, let me migrate it over. Now what you can do is, is go to the content browser. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to go add external project. I'm going to go to my unreal projects. I have, for example, I'm trying to see here, here is a Nordic. I can go into the Nordic project here and I can select that folder. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. Cause you have to do some stuff first with it. I'm going to go ahead and go to my nanite assets folder which i already had dash in so that's the first thing you have to have dash and you have to process those um, assets with dash first and i'll show you guys that after so you hit select folder and then it's going to go ahead and go through uh, that folder oh, add external project nanite assets content here select folder i'm running into a bit of an issue here Oh, here we go. So essentially I already had it in this project because I added the external project. So just to show you what I did there, I went to external projects, nanite assets. So that's where it was. And now I have 
all of these assets that are available to, be available to me, but they're not actually in my folder, as you can see here, right? They're not actually in my folder. So what you can do now, and I'm just gonna quickly drag this out, and there you go. So now using that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, and now I have it in my scene, and check this out. So now, let me just quickly minimize this right there. You can see now I've got in my content folder, nanite trees, and if I go to my mesh and my tree, I only have that one object. Okay, that's, that's, that's crucial here. And it downloaded the proper material. Okay, so you have the proper tree material and everything in there. And you don't have to worry about that. Okay, which is really, really nice. And now you have that in your scene. Um, and then now if I go back to my content browser, you can see here once again, and we can tag these so they are tagged and they are available and i'm going to show you how in that other scene i did that and we are going to do that to another scene right after this but that gives you the ability to go to your external projects and grab those files so now if i want to bring up the grass there's the grass right there i hit enter move it around hit enter and then there we go there's the scene right there and here's our assets again and let me go ahead and bring that out there. There we go. So there is now the grass. There is that, which all come in. So this is a huge, I think, feature of Dash that is amazing because now I'm not bogging my system or sorry, my project down with having more stuff, right? I only have what I need in this project. I don't have to import all the different levels, all the different things, just so that I can, you know what I mean, have those assets. It's one asset that I need for one project. I don't need to bring in the whole thing. Okay, everybody. So I've opened up my asset project folder. And what I've done is, is I've imported um, what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you here. I've got multiple different assets in this folder. I've got my Nordic pack. I have my rural Australia. I have my Nordic uh, corner for biome. And then what I've done is, is I need to tag these assets. So what I'm going to do here is, as you can see here, I've already tagged 273 and I did that. So just not wasting time and it gives me all of these if i go to rural australia it says no assets found in this category and what you do is is you say compute 199 assets okay and when you do that it's then going to go through all the assets and it's going to tag them and it's going to make them available so if i double click here i can go ahead and add a tag here i can go uh I can go nordic Okay, and then I can go ahead after that. And uh, so now that I have that tagged, or it should have been tagged. There we go. I just tagged it with Nordic. I can tag it with tree. Um, I can tag it with so many things that I can go ahead. And now it's going to uh, give me those tags for that asset. But the biggest thing that I want to show you guys is now that I've gone ahead and I've processed these i can access them in my other project just like i showed you in the previous um, now i have access to this nordic corner for biome so i'm going to open up that other project and then we are okay so now i've got my other scene i'm gonna open up dash and open up the content browser here and now you can see because i've already had it here if i go here external nordic now all those assets are available okay all the materials everything so now if i bring them in and i drag it out here just give it a second to load there we go it's going to load the textures it's preparing the shaders now just give it a second and there we go perfect and now we have that asset. And once again, the nice thing about this is that if I go to the Nordic meshes trees, okay, it's only the one that I need. Okay, it's not bringing in all the maps, stuff that I don't need to bring in here. So that is the nice thing here and a time saver of migrating, right? Once you set up another project, you don't have to go through 
and do all of those things that you know you need to do so if you want to bring another asset here we go let's go ahead and bring that out it's waiting i'll go yep and there we go so now that's there we have this nice giant tree here and it's just going to process the materials give it a second and there we go so a nice little quick video the content browser guys is free now according to dash go ahead and this is really the biggest reason why you guys should be using it the tagging features obviously are huge but the fact that i can grab assets from other projects and bring them in with no issues and not have to drag in all that extra stuff is a huge huge plus so guys once again go check out dash polygonflow.io check out their videos it's a great tool um yeah see you in the next one